So guys, this video is a continuing video of splay tree. So I have already shown like what is splay tree introduction part, like why do you need that and what is the basic requirement and stuff like that. So please go ahead and watch my first video. Maybe you'll get that link in somewhere in the description field and then you watch this. So as I told you in the previous video that insertion is always followed by splaying. We'll learn that splaying here. And splaying is nothing but the zigzag right, right to left, all those rotations you would have seen already in my AVL3 video so that it is going to be very easy. But you have to keep one important thing in mind when you are doing all those operations. So we'll learn that in this video. So without wasting any time further, let us start it. So first we'll insert 18. In that case, let's just insert that. There is no problem. It is the root. So we don't have to take care of anything. Then we'll insert 13, let's insert here only. So as this is binary search tree, 13 is going to be in the left hand side of the 18 because 18 is greater than 13. So now here comes the splaying. You won't see that this is already balanced so you won't do anything, no. And remember that I told you newly inserted element should be root. So that's the ultimate goal of this splaying. So how we'll do that with the help of rotations. Let's see how we'll do that. After inserting some element like if the data is actually formed like this, meaning you inserted this particular node and it is making this kind of view. So we have right and right. Then in that case, if this is A, this is B and this is C, I will directly tell you this is going to be C, B and A. So this will come here and this will come here, something like this. So this is very quick rule. And if it is like this, meaning either right, right, or left and left, then this is going to be like this. So if it is right, right, then it will become left, left. If it is left, left, then it will become right, right. So if this is A, this is B, this is C, then you inserted just this, then only this whole thing was forming. So this is going to be A, B and C. So now this is how it is going to look like. You have to remember these two, these two are very easy. So you just see this, C is going here, B is obviously in the middle, A was top, so it is going down. Here also, A is going top, B was in the middle only, and then C is going in the bottom. So you are actually reversing the whole thing, but reversing the whole size, I mean, direction also. So this is easy, right, right, and left, left. And if it is right and left, let's say if it is like this, this, and this. So you just inserted this node, then what to do? Then here is the difference, in this case, you will try to rotate these two first. So this will go here and this will go here. So here we have left, right? So this is right rotation. So ultimately it will look something like this. If it is A, this is B and this is C, then it is going to look like A, C and B. And you just inserted C, right? So your goal is to make C as the root, but C is still halfway. C is not the root now. So in this case, now listen very carefully. To make this C root, what you have to do? You have to pull this A down, right? Meaning it will come here. Now this C is actually the root node, correct? Similarly, if this is like this, so you just inserted this, that's why it is forming this. So in that case, you will rotate these two. So this will go down, this will go up. So it will start looking like this. So if it is A, B and C, so this is B actually. Now B came to center and C went down. Now you have to make B as the root, right? So you will pull A down. So it will look like this and this is in the left hand side. So this is how it is going to look like. B is now the root. Simple, right? Let's quickly finish this. So after inserting 13, you know that you have to move it to like this 13 and then this will go in the right hand side. Because if you want to make 13 as the root, where should this 18 should go? I mean, this is so intuitive. It should go in the right hand side of the 13, right? It cannot go into the left hand side because it is binary search tree, right? So if it is left, then you have to make it a right rotation. Like this will go here and this will go up like this. Now let's quickly insert and yeah, 13 is root now. So we are done with this iteration. Let's go for 20. 20 will go here and then here. So it will look something like this, but this is not root. Don't look at it like it is unbalanced. No, there is no concept of balancing here. You won't think like this is two because here it is zero and zero and here it is two. So this is disbalanced. So you have to make it balanced. No, don't think like AVL or something like that. 
this is not disbalanced. You just have to make this 20 as the root. And when you are inserting and doing any operation, you have to keep in mind that this is binary search tree. So 18 is less than 20. That's why it is forming this direction. Now look at this. I told you, right? If this is the case, so this is the case, then you just have to make it look like this. So this will go here. This is always in the center. This will go down. So how this is going to be? This is going to be. So this is your new formation. Okay. It is very simple. Actually, I'm breaking this. I mean, there are two ways. I mean, there are two steps to do this. Let me just quickly show you that as well, because then people will start shouting. <laughs> Some people don't like shortcuts. So why I, this guy is becoming uh, like this guy. I'll show you that. So consider our this 13, 18 and 20 example. We have 13, 18 and let's say 20. So this is right and this is right. So you inserted 20, right? You want to make this 20 as the root node. Now what we have learned in the AVL tree, we have to pull this thread and then this will go down and this will be remaining in the right hand side. So it will look something like this. We have 18 and then we have 20 and then we have 13 here. But still we are not done because 20 is not the root yet. Now in order to make this 20 as a root, you have to do this rotation, right? Then obviously this 20 will become, I mean, it will reach here. 18 will go in the left hand side and 13 will obviously go into the left hand side of this 18. So this is exactly same as this, right? So I'm breaking these two operations into a single operation. So we have just ended up inserting 20. This is done. Now let's insert 10. 10 will go here, here, and then it will go here. Now this is going to be a really very big operation. No, don't think like that. If you think it like this, we have left and left. So you have to make it right and right, right and right of 20. So 20 will be as it is because you are going to apply on these nodes, right? So whatever operation will happen on the nodes will be still in the left hand side of the 20. So this is going to be as it is now 10 and 13 and 18. So this is going to be your new form. But wait a minute, is this 10 root node? No, it is not. Then let's make it. You will rotate these. So now what you will rotate? This is left, right? So you have to make the rotation right. It is so intuitive that if you will make 10 as the root node where this 20 should go, just think about it. 20 should go in the right hand side of 10, right? So that's how we'll do it. So let's do that. We have 10 in the root, 20 in the right hand side of 10, but right hand side was already filled with 13. So 13 we will have to rearrange. So 13 will go into the right hand side, but then left hand side and 18 will not move. 18 will still be like this. So this is the new tree after inserting 10. Let's insert 16, right, left, right, left. So basically it will go here. Now, so beautiful, right? You have to make this 16 go up. How do you do that? This is this rotation. Now, if this is this rotation and you have to make 16 root, what can you do? You have to make 16 go upward, right? You have to rotate these two. So this 18 will come here. 16 will go up. So this will look something like this. It will be 16 will come and then 18 will come. Now look, and now 16 want to go up, but then this 13 is there. What is going to be the rotation? This is the place where you will rotate. Then how would you rotate? 16 wants to go up. 13 will obviously go into the left hand side of 16, right? Because 13 is less than 16. Let's do that. And then we have 16 here. 16 have come here now. 13 will go here. But is this 16 up? No, it is not. Then what is the blockage? Blockage is this 20. Now we want to rotate these two. This 20 will go here. Then how it will look like? But 18 was there in the left right hand side of the 16, right? So then we have to rearrange that 18. It will be in the left hand side of the 20. And this 13 is still like this. But no, wait a minute. We are still not done. 16 is not root. What is stopping 10? 10 would obviously go into the left hand side of 16. Okay. So 16 is going to be like this. 10 will come here. Sorry. 10 will come here. 20 is as it is. We have 18 here and then actually 13 was in the left hand side before this 10 took that place. But then we have to rearrange this 13. So whatever is there, let's suppose there is very big tree here. So if you will rearrange this 13, all those nodes will automatically get rearranged because they are the children of this 13, right? So let's do that. We will rearrange this 13. 13 will go into the left hand side and then right hand side of this. So 13 will come here. 
cool right yeah i mean it was really very hard in the beginning but if you pay attention it is really very easy now this is root no problem do we have anything else yeah we have 19 okay good let us insert 19 19 will go right and then left and then right so this is going to be the place but this is not root what we'll do yeah so we will obviously rotate this right so it is going to be like so 20 and then 19 and then 18 right so this is how it is going to be but 19 wants to be a root it is long way to go so there is this rotation and obviously this 16 is there let me write that otherwise people will start shouting we have 13 here correct so now new tree would look something like this we have 16 this 10 is there 13 is there and then we have 19 and this rotation will come because this 20 will go down 19 will come up so it is going to look something like this but still 19 is not root then we have this rotation to do if we'll do this rotation it will look finally look something like this we have 19 20 will be as it is no change in that but 16 will come in the left hand side of this 19 and this 10 is as it is and this 13 is as it is but then see this 18 was actually in the left hand side of this 19 right but then 16 came in the left hand side so we have to reiterate i mean we have to place this 18 18 will go in the left hand side and then right hand side so 18 will come here so this is the final result see is this binary search tree yes it is everything is with the rule of binary search tree not the strictly binary search tree but binary search tree and yeah this Splay tree is not strictly binary search tree. This is the biggest disadvantage of this tree. So that you might have seen somewhere like this becomes a skewed tree uh, here. See, after rotating this guy, it was actually like this guy, right? So this is left skewed. And this was the final result actually after inserting 20. So if it is left skewed or right skewed, so complexity becomes order of n because you have to search each and every node to get somewhere. So don't forget to hit the like button, dude. It will help me a lot. And if you can comment something, that would be super cool. So thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye. Take care.